I'm Gabby from Gabadattery. Here's Hobbs. He's pushing in the door. Hello, Hobbles. Come on, darling. In you come. <laughs> so that was good timing. It was like your little entrance. Come here, darling. Yeah, Hobbs has to be in the video. <laughs> I literally started and he started knocking on the door, didn't you, darling? Right, you're too heavy to carry for the whole video, but I will pick you back up, okay? Oh, for those of you that don't know, this is Hobbs, my dog. I realise that I never introduce him and some people don't know his name and things, so that's who he is. He's wonderful. All right, baby, down you go. I'm going to cover me in hair. So today I am back with a sew and tell. It's been so, so long and uh, I probably did my last one October, maybe November. Um, it's, yeah, been a very long time and I have actually made loads of things um, up until December, but I just thought it would make such a long video. I'd be here for about an hour. So I'm just gonna show you my January makes and maybe another time I'll show you what I made when I haven't been reporting it. Um, but yes, these are my January makes. So make number one is the Sew Over It Nancy. I really, really love this dress. I think it's a really flattering dress. It's got that great kind of 60s vibe to it. Um, it's got these really cool seams. So they're kind of like princess seams, but they're square. Um, and so they're there. And it's a really simple, simple construction. Um, I'm really pleased I read feedback about the sleeves, because a lot of people said that the sleeves came up incredibly tight. So I learned from that and I made, um, I went up a couple of sizes for my sleeves. So I made the, the dress in 10, in size 10, and the sleeves in size 14. So, um, and they've come out perfectly. I wouldn't want them any tighter than that. And I think I also used a smaller seam allowance just under the arms so that I've got a bit more room and I'm really pleased I did that. Um, but other than that, I kind of stuck to the pattern. It was really quick, so I think it took maybe two and a half hours. Um, the only thing I changed is instead of a hook and eye because I really don't like sewing on hook and eyes. They're too intricate and my eyesight's too bad and I'm not good at sewing on hook and eyes. So instead, I just basically made the bias binding on the neckline longer and sewed it right sides together to kind of make a tie and turned it out. And I think that works really well. And it kind of, you know, fits with the dress because it's the same fabric. Um, and yeah, I've already worn it out to two parties. It's been at a Kaylee and for my mum's 70th. And uh, yeah, it's got great reviews. I love that the fabric is kind of splodgy, but people keep seeing things. So my sister was like, oh, you're wearing a fabric with ducks on again. And I was like, really? And I kind of see what she means because there are a few little duck faces around like that. Um, someone else said ice creams and I was like, oh yeah, I like that. But it is just literally splodges. Um, but I absolutely love this fabric. It was two pounds a meter from Hackney Market. I got it last uh, September, I think. Megan was with me and a couple of other sewers. And I think three of us got this fabric because A, it was so cheap and B, it is so lovely. It's like a heavyweight crepe. I think a poly crepe. Um, it doesn't wrinkle at all, which is amazing. If I find a fabric that doesn't wrinkle, I'm like, I just want to make everything in that because the amount of things that I make and I take, you know, just off a hanger and they are like a crumpled mess. Uh, so it's really great to get this that, you know, I can like shove in a bag and it still looks great. Um, so yeah, I'm hugely, hugely happy with it. I can't really think of anything to say. I love the whooshiness of it. Um, it's a real party dress and I'm definitely gonna make more of these in other fabrics. I might elongate the sleeves. Um, for one, I might make like a navy one or something um, and longer sleeves, cause that would be such a go-to dress for so many different occasions. Um, if I get a job, I could wear it for work. 
<laughs> anyway, so yeah, love the Nancy. Really, really pleased with this make. Uh, well done, sew over it for another fantastic pattern. So I will twirl into my next make. whammy um i know you've already seen this because i wore this for the first vlog of this year um but this is my i am patterns lion sweater uh that i made in actually from the same place as the fabric of my nancy um this kind of crazy scuba-esque knit it's really interesting fabric it's not at all uncomfortable it's like still quite soft but at the same time quite rough <laughs> um, and uh, but it kind of makes it a really interesting make because it's an unusual fabric um, and an unusual make with the puffy sleeves and everything um, I used oh not that shoulder I used the yellow snaps that I got for Christmas um, and uh, the only thing I did wrong was that I was meant to leave the neckband with two open ends and I sewed them up as a neckband because I was kind of doing that thing where I'd stopped reading the instructions because I thought yeah I've got this I know how to make this um and then I got to the bit with the snaps and I was like oh wait was I meant to do yeah so it's fine it works as it is um the snaps are basically null and void they just look cool so <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that um, and I kind of do wear it like this a lot so although there's this band I think maybe that makes it a bit long for me and I actually prefer shorter jumpers so I keep tucking it under and wearing it like that um, and I even wore it tucked into a skirt that I was wearing um, and I thought that was really cute so I am massively happy with this make and will definitely make some other lions and also some zebras because they put the two jumpers out at the same time. So lines with the puffy shoulder and the zebra is with the puffy like bell sleeve leading to the cuff. And I've seen that as well and it's a great pattern. So iron patterns are doing really good things and I'm very happy to make their patterns. Um, underneath though is my McCall's 7547. I keep getting it wrong, but yes, 7547, uh, which I can't show you too much because it's coming up in my next um, Minerva Crafts make. So I won't really talk about them, but I really love them. They're really cool and all in Minerva fabric. And I'll quickly flash up a little picture of them now, but don't tell anyone that I did that. <laughs> um, but yes, yes, love them. Love them. So that was very quick, um, neither of them were quick makes actually, well yeah the jumper was a very quick make, um, but yeah I just thought I would show you them quickly before twirling into my next make. My drops dress! Again you've seen this basically, I'm just showing you stuff you've seen before um, because this is what Megan and I made last week. Uh, but I have finished the neckband off now and uh, it looks so much better. Sorry, my bra strap was showing. Um, but yeah, now the neckband's finished off. I love this kind of wide neckband and some lovely soul, thank you very much, uh, said to me in my YouTube comments that they really love when I wear these necklines. So um, I'm going to try and sew a lot more of these kind of necklines. So I'm happy to have started off with this. Um, it's such a cool design. I'm going to get the stool so you can see all of it. Okay, I'm wearing a mustard tight. But yeah, so, so you can see the kind of drape. I really love it. I think it's, it's amazing. It's um, by a pattern company called Made It Patterns and uh, it's called the Drops Dress. And there's also the top version, which I think is like a longer tunic top. Um, and I can see loads of these in my future. But yeah, so I'm massively happy with it. It's, um, it's just an interesting make. I think it's really interesting. And I made it in this kind of lightweight Marley denim style jersey. Um, and 
so it will get a lot more wear when it's a bit warmer because at the moment I could stick a thermal top underneath it and wear it with thick tights but actually it's still a little bit chilly for this um, so I think I'm going to try and make it in something a little bit heavier weight and see if I can get a really nice jumper dress out of it that will get more wear in the winter because I pretty much live in jumper dresses in the winter especially to walk hobs and stuff and like around the house I love my jumper dresses so um so yeah and this is a real kind of twist on it because if I then happened to go out and um not that I would ever go out <laughs> but if it once at a blue moon I happened to go out in this as well I think it would suit it quite well um I finished all my edges I've been very good I've top stitched uh with the twin needle all my hems and so is the neckline um yeah and so is the hem and I sewed it all up on my overlocker apart from that so really pleased it is a super quick make I think it took half an hour apart from my neckline problems which I was having a few of um when I sorted them out it really it whizzed up so yes very happy okay next make is two in one and it's my final make and I literally just finished them and I made them yesterday and today so I'm really excited to show them off finally okay yay I'm so happy with this make these makes uh, so this is my Muppet Astoria <laughs> and my long denim Cleo uh, right what should I talk about first the amount of fluff that's everywhere from making this fluffy jumper uh, so I um, originally got this fur from Abacan uh, last October um, when I was there for So Saturday up in Liverpool and it was like one of the ones that are like in there's basically a whole floor in Abacan which is like kind of remnants and sale items and this was just in a bundle of fake furs um, and so I picked it up because I was like it's bright pink so I picked it up and I thought I'm gonna make a little jacket from it and I don't know if you saw but during my vlogmas me and Claire from So Incidentally or at Claire Sews um, made little fur jackets and this was the first one that I pulled out and I was like yes I'm gonna make a jacket in this and I was like wait a sec it's super stretchy and uh, because I kind of grabbed it and was just so enamored by its color and its price in Abacan I had no idea that actually it wasn't like a fur it was like a knit and it's amazing it's really stretchy it's bright pink and it's furry and it's just my favorite thing ever I love it so much it's so soft and cozy um, so when me and Claire were kind of looking through this fabric I was like you know what it needs to be is just a little Astoria because um, I am obsessed with furry jumpers I have about eight in all different colors um, I think I'm still reliving my clueless 90s days or something I don't know I just love furry jumpers <laughs> so <laughs> so um, the thought of making my own in bright pink fur was just too good to be true and I chose the Astoria because it's a pattern that I've tried a couple of times I love the croppedness so it stops like there which is perfect for what I'm wearing um, but it sits right on my waist and I know a lot of people have talked about lengthening the Astoria but obviously my bodice is the right size for the pattern pieces because I don't lengthen mine and it comes out just right um, and uh, because this fabric has a lot of stress, stretch in it I could make it my size and it was fine whereas um, I did use the Astoria for a less stretchy fabric and I should have gone a size up because that is too small for me um, but anyway uh, I did finish the ends um, so I, I overlocked it's just that the only hems that you need to do are the sleeves because there's a big band at the bottom um, and I overlocked them and then I got the twin needle out and I did the pink thread and it came out horrible like a funnel sleeve and like it stretched out of place it was just awful so I actually decided to um, overlock them the hems off basically so they're a little bit shorter than they should be but they're all right at least they're nice and kind of tight to the wrist because the the weird 
flute sleeves that came out were just not good at all. Um, so I'm going to keep it raw edge and I'm not going to bother trying to hem it because it didn't work and uh, there's probably other ways I could do it but I don't really mind. I think that's quite cute. Um, that was a super quick sew so <laughs> while I was waiting on you guys to help me decide which buttons to put on my Clio um, I made this Astoria in an hour while I was just kind of last night my husband's been doing his tax return so um, I did mine the night before and and it luckily came together very quickly so that's good um, but he's been working on it like the last three nights so while he was doing that I was like I'm gonna carry on sewing and I whizzed up this Astoria probably in less than an hour maybe 45 minutes I mean it was so quick um, and uh, yeah so i'm i'm massively happy with it i think it's it's it is a muppet it's super bright and a lot of people are probably like that is garish but i love it i think it goes really well with my new hair color i love it um and the cleo so this is my fourth ah uh, fifth cleo that i've made um, and all of the ones I've made before have been the short one and I've been lusting after the kind of longer version especially the one on the sleeve that's just denim um, and I was at the John Lewis sale a couple of weeks ago I was there getting my eyebrows done because I got um, a treatment for Christmas and uh, I kept seeing the word sale and the other words saying haberdashery up here and I just fell into the sale section of the haberdashery I don't know what else I could have done and this denim was four pounds a meter uh, it's gorgeous gorgeous quality it is so lovely I love this color I really love the kind of proper pale sky blue um so it straight away screamed to me a long cleo and uh, i used bright yellow top stitching thread because <laughs> that's how i roll everything's got to be yellow um and uh let me show you because you can't even see the pockets i put two pockets on this so we've got two pockets there um there's also a slit I'm not tall enough to show you um but yeah there's a nice slit and I love the way the um that the hem is finished off um with I use the yellow top stitch for the hem as well because I liked that little bit of contrast um I chose the buttons that got the lower <laughs> percentage i did a poll on instagram and loads of you voted i've got like hundreds and hundreds of votes which was amazing thank you um but then i went with the least popular and i'm so sorry <laughs> but basically i think what polls actually do when you've got a 50 50 poll is help you decide your original mind um that makes no sense helps you decide your original choice because every time people were choosing these ones I was like yay I'm so pleased and when people chose the other I was like oh <laughs> so obviously I knew actually which buttons I wanted but I needed kind of that affirmative nod towards them so I went with these um which I think are the more kind of um well as someone said the more modern version of the others that I was going to go with with the kind of classic lipped um button um I decided to move these in a little bit. I, the actual buttonholes should be a little bit further over there, but I don't know why. I just kind of thought it was kind of cute to have the straps a little bit further in. Um, and I think that's all I've got to say about this. But I'm really, really happy with this as an outfit. It was kind of what I had in my mind was bright pink furry jumper with denim Cleo, and I've like ticked that box. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, that is my sew and tell. So I'm going to pick up Hobbs because he is whining. Um, come on, sweetheart. And then we can say our goodbye together. All right, little man. Oh, sweetie. It's quite close to his food time. So I think he's just like, oh, maybe if I cry, I can get food early. Is that what you're thinking? 
Oh, little one. Uh, so Hobbs and I would love to say have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, I'm going to be announcing the five winners for the giveaway for the knitting and stitching show tickets over the weekend. So you'll get another little mini vlog where I'll just announce the winners. Um, but apart from that, I will see you next week with more crafty goodness. So lots and lots of love to everyone. Take care. Bye.